All right, we are back. I'm actually afraid. I want to save, but I'm actually afraid it will crash again. Should we try it? Should we dare to try? Let's do it, huh? Oh, we can. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what I'm looking for. The door's locked. Huh? Since when this key? No way. The key worked. Who put it on my pocket? Ah, uh -huh. what is this? This is my hometown. What in the name of? The town looks ruined, and the sky is pitch black. Huh? What should I, what should I do now? Doesn't matter. But what is this? What is lying in here? What is this blood? Hometown ruined. We should go to our parents. Let's check on them. This is my house, right? It looks fine. A snowman. Well, at least they got that. Door is sealed. Ah, uh, oh. A snowman? Someone help me. The eyes were glowing. Return my pendant. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I will. What day I took the pendant from me, Yukiko? Yukiko? Please stop. I'm not Yukiko. Liar! You're Yukiko! <laughs> Who else got a straight black hair and wears a blue kimono in this village? Does it look like? But mine's purple and short, and I don't wear a kimono right now. Are you really sure that I look like that? To hell with your chit chat! Give it back! There's no use arguing with the snowman. I mean, why would there be? I better do what he wants. Could you tell me where I could find the pendant? Like hell I know, you're the one who took it. I guess I've got no choice then, I hope the pendant is somewhere around here. Okay, I'm sorry Mr. Snowman, I will look for your pendant Mr. Snowman. Do not get mad at me Mr. Snowman? I'm trying my best Mr. Snowman. So let's see, I guess it's in the back alley. Where the cat was. Or maybe it's in here. The flies aren't moving. <laughs> That's strange, they must be dead. They must be dead like everything else in here. So let's see, what do we have up oh, this is good? Peek No <laughs> No I don't wanna peek. Oh shit, will I die if I peek? Should we peek? Oh let's peek. Wait, let's peek in a second. <laughs> okay, let's go peek. Yes. Seven days. What? Someone's down there. Oh. Well, obviously. <laughs> seven days. I got seven days. Okay. Well, that's good. Seven days until my soul is reincarnated. That is in the mirror. What? So no pendant around here, huh? No pendant. Okay. Thank you, lady. But I'm looking for a pendant. Have you seen it? Oh, what could I... What's What's going on? What's... What? Where could that pendant be? Maybe it's... It's under the car. What is going on? Why can't I cross this line? <laughs> I can't cross this one. It's in the car. It's... It's... It's over here. It's here. Mr. Snowman, give me a hint. Um... I've checked Mr. Snowman. <laughs> I wonder if I destroy the snowman. Maybe the door will be unlocked. <sighs> oh ha um e yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Snowman. I'm sorry, Mr. Snowman, <laughs> but I really need to go inside. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god damn it. The phone is not working, obviously it's not. The shelf is full of newspaper and other files which are written in a very difficult to understand word. The shell contains a lot of traditional medicine and their recipes. What is this? Made up by eye assistant in front of you, of course. Can't rem hey. What? You Fufufu. Welcome back home. 
This is not my home. Of course it's not your home, silly. First of all, do you even know that this is not your world? What do you mean by that? Oh, enlighten me. No way. Way. I'm pretty sure that you already know that you're in a lost dimension. Mr. Seijiro told me about that, and the only way to end this curse is... Do you know how to end this curse? I mean, you're me. We should work together. Uh. Me? Working with you. Like that's gonna happen. Oh, by the way, something's waiting for you in the living room. Why don't you check it out? Oh no, I don't like surprises like this. Where's the living room anyway? Why doesn't you want to work together? Where's the living room? Down here. Hi. Who are you? Dad? She's not my dad. Dad, why are you here? Yo. Dad? Yukiko? Yes? Huh, Yukiko? What is it, Dad? Daddy's kind of bored now. Mind if I... Rip your guts? Yeah, I do mind that. Oh. You will never be resurrected, Yukiko. Uh... Well, I, uh... Hey, don't just stand there, grab the katana and kill him! Oh yes, now you're talking my language. Now you're speaking my language. Hurry up or you'll be killed. Alright, let's go. But he's my dad. Oh fuck he is, and who are you? I'm Shiro Kagare. Oh yeah, I could cast an exorcism spell, but it will take time. Take time. You better use the katana. But he's my dad. Right now it's dead or alive. Quick! Okay. But where is it? Where? Wait, hold on. Hold on, Dad. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you okay? You okay there? Kill Dad. Oh, boy. Don't kill or kill. Well, this was not my real father. But what happens if I won't kill him? I wanna try. I saved, so... Your spirit. Go away! So it did matter. Did we do good? You okay? Uh oh. We're going to die here? Well... Okay, we're dying. Oh shit, well... Oi! <laughs> Just mortally wounded. Oh no. So... Did we do right? Did we do good? Actually? Huh? I'm alive? The wound is gone too. Oh shit, you're... You're finally awake. Let me introduce myself once more. I'm Shirokage. I'm an occultist and folklorist. I died during my investigation of the Kiwihara Mansion. You're a dead person? How did you die? I can't remember. All I know is that before I died, I met an Onryo in blue kimono. It must be the one that chased me this morning. But I don't really mind being dead. Now I can investigate this mansion easier than when I was alive. He's kind of strange. Sorry to hear. Did you see any any people other than me? A while ago, I mean a few minutes ago, I met a girl who was looking for you. A girl who was looking for me? Her name is Kayako. I guess you're an important person to her, considering her, considering her willingness to descend even further into this lost dimension. Kayako? Where is she? I can't really tell you where she is, but I think she's near this place. Somewhere. Thank God. 
She doesn't really know what's happening now. I guess she should find out by herself. What will you do now? I don't know. In that case, why don't you go to Saiko Kirihara's room? You'll find more about all of this and it's not very far from here. Saiko Kirihara? Shu Shu Shuichi Kirihara's wife? Many information about the Kirihara family is located inside her room, although it is not much as the main archive that is located somewhere inside the mansion. Now I must excuse myself once again. Goodbye. The main archive, huh? It's the one that Sejiro told me, and it's nowhere to be found. Maybe there's information regarding the archive inside Seiko's room. Okay, yeah, that might be, but we, uh... We, uh, we... that would take time to find. So what do we have here? There's a book titled The Kirihara Family Part 4. Among the ruthless clan of the Kirihara, there's someone who's very kind and warm-hearted. The person is Shuichi Kirihara's wife, Saiko Kirihara. She's the most respected member of the family, even more than Shuichi. Her kindness is often criticized by Sho Shuichi, however, he's written now. Spelled. No one knows, however, that Saiko is a specialist in poisons and medicines. One of Shuichi's katanas is imbued by her famous, infamous poison, Tsukiyomi. <laughs> Despite those, Saiko sometimes secretly heals the family's injured enemies, usually by making the antidote of the poison and giving it for free. One day, Shuichi found out about this. He was unable to do anything about it, however, as the strongest warrior in the family is none other than Seiko. Shuichi also cared deeply for Seiko. She, she's the only one, he, only one he ever loved. When Seiko finally died because of her illness, he became depressed. Also, it was the only time that Shuichi cried. Ah. Okay. Good. Okay. Name Seiko is curved. Yeah. Carved. Carved. Awesome, let's heal. It's not that we were deadly injured or something. The snow hex. In this last dimension, there is a holy field where anyone who got absorbed by the dimension can heal themselves instantly. Those fields are named the snow hex. The snow hexes can be found easily. They are usually located near a dangerous place. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, the hexes themselves are made from a person's hope to survive. What? However, once darkness has reached the hexes, they will disappear. Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh, the Ice Mirror. The Ice Mirrors are one of the Kirihara family's trademarks. They usually use it on people who want to be reborn, but without the Yuki Tensei. The mirror reflects upon the person's soul and keeps it until the person is reincarnated. It should be noted that the mirror may only be used on a dead person. If a living person uses it, a very bad consequence will occur. The mirror will instead creates a copy of the soul which shall reverse personality. So we are not dead. It is unknown what will happen after a copy is created. So we are not dead. You fucking bitch lied to me. Oh, I'll show her. Where is she? Foo foo foo. School related books. Nothing. Nothing. No, no, see. We shall see now. White screen TV. Is this... What was that? What was that? Okay, that was weird. Alright, what do we have here? Chicago Ray Paranormal Investigation Part 3. After wandering for several hours inside the mansion, I accidentally arrived in this stinking room. I guess there are some corpses inside. This room is the Kirihara family's torture chamber. They usually cage the captured enemies here. Shuichi Kirihara said that this room is his best entertainment theater. Based on what I've read in one of the archives, the Kirihara family has a unique way of torturing the prisoners. They usually freeze the pri pri prison prisoner's limbs by putting it into a bucket filled with water taken from the underground ice cavern. After they freeze it, the frozen limb will be shattered to pieces using a pickaxe. The shattered pieces are later stacked into the rain remaining limbs. Uh, this is indeed extremely cruel. That's very inhuman. Well, what do you expect from... I'm sorry. 
I'm so sorry. It seems cold out there, but I've got to go there, right? I don't know. Do we have to? Ugh, it's so freezing here. Well, I don't know if we have to go here, actually. What is this? What is this? Where am I? Is this Seiko's room? Completely see by an unknown forest. What? Something? Tells me that beyond this room is where the ice reincarnation ritual was held in the past. Where is it now? Let's go! Let's go to the bloody door. Door's locked. It's not this room! Where? So where? 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 What? 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 Entering the cave without permission is forbidden. I'm actually looking for Seiko's room. <laughs> I'm actually doing that. I want to do that. Wait. Wait. Hold on. We're outside. We shouldn't be outside. A room is not outside. So let's go back inside and see if we can find that room. Holy shit. I don't even know where I am. Wait. Hold, hold on. I'm sorry for wasting everybody's time again, but I want to do this. I want to... I want you. God damn it. I want you. Is this her room? Could sense a lot of dark energy emerging from it. Okay. Okay, then let's not go in there. Fine. What is. What? What? <laughs> Don't give me exclamation points and stuff when nothing's happening. Yo. Okay, so we are supposed to go outside. This is, this is so confusing. What is going on? Oh, wait. We are reminded, but we're not even the Kirihara mansion, right? We are... Ah, okay, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We are not even the Kirihara mansion. That's why we couldn't find her room. I... I guess. This is a village? Seems abandoned for years. Over here. Huh? Follow me. Uh... Well, if I have to... Okay. Kiara village. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Okay, let's follow Yukiko. What do we have here? Why do we turn around like this? This is taking forever. In order to open the door upstairs, two people must work together. Kayako! <laughs> Kay no, Tiger! Wait, Tiger's here now! Tiger! I don't care who. I need help. I need help. Please. Help me. Do not get stabbed. Okay, great, but where is my second person? Two people must try to hear yeah, that, but there's nobody else here. I'm alone. I'm all by myself. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no! Oh, uh, yes, this is, uh. Okay. I need. What the heck? can go in there. There's something I can interact with. So, where's Kayako? Where's Tiger? Great friends they are. Now that I need them, huh? Two people must work together. Um, can I not, can I not just push the skeleton on here? Does it work? Does that work? Can I push the skeleton? 
Ah. Uh, can I push the skeleton? No. Can I push something in here? I mean, that would be... No? No? So what? What then? What else then? Oh, those spikes. These are my biggest enemy. Kaiko! What the fuck? I'm not quite sure. I need my friends. For once. Hello? Anybody in here? Anyone? Anything? Oh yeah. It has been four hours since I fell asleep in this old house. I haven't seen any spirit nearby, nor have I sensed any. It seems that the holy power that comes from Seiko's grave keeps protecting this village from, avenge from any vengeful spirits. She truly is the holy mother of the Kirihara family. Uh -huh. Kiwihara Family Part 5 The Kiwihara Family owns a large number of polar bears and wolves. <laughs> this keeps getting better and better. They usually took them along during a war hunt. The bears and the wolves are trained hard in order to compete against the family's opponent during a war. I witnessed a trained bear kill around 3 to 5 samurai at once. The animals, however, they only obey Seiko's com command. After Seiko died, Yukiko became the one that they obeyed. To me, my trust for companions, I need help. I need, I need help. I need lots of help. God damn it! Where are my friends? Where are the wolves? I want to see the wolves. Here we go. What do we have here? Today, Mr. Shuiji and the young stranger were able to fend off an army of 50 people. It's really a surprise that Mr. Shuiji lost to the young stranger in the terms of kill count. It's also been the first time we saw Mr. Shuiji lose to an outsider. He also praised that stranger too. We've never seen Mr. Shuiji praise anyone other than his wife before. There's also one thing about the young stranger. While Mr. Shuiji didn't show any remorse after slaying his enemies, a stranger did. The stranger. It's just like what my grandpa told me. For the pure heart comes a great amount of strength. Was it Tiger? There's a book titled The Ice Cavern which instantly caught your attention. The Ice Cavern is a holy place for the Kiwihara family. It's the place where the ice reincarnation ritual is before performed. There's a big hole inside the cavern which people said to be a, the gate of the pit of the froze freezing hell, goddammit. If you try to splash water near the hole, the water will freeze immediately in midair. Seijiro Kiwihara tried to light a fire near the freezing hole, but the fire froze immediately. This made Seijiro seal the room for good. This is like... this is like... uh... uh... Oh, what's it called? Project Zero. What's his name? So, is his wife buried here? Fatal Frame! There's a pit to hell as well. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Why do you give me a mirror here? Uh oh. Why are you giving me a mirror? Is something gonna happen? There's some blood flowing under the bookshelf. Someone's probably crushed under the bookshelf. Tiger, no! What? So. Yeah, so what? Can I have him? I need a second person. He seemed to be quite alive, there's the blood flowing. Wanna go down? Yeah, no, not really, but... Oh, come on. I've done goofed! I've done goofed! Come on, stop laughing, kill me faster. <laughs> 